Oh, hello, and welcome back. Good day, good dag, in the Viking tongue. I am Bruggy, the Viking, and I am here today to tell you an English folk tale with the theme of an elf and a giant and his treasure. So please, if you like this folk tale, leave a comment. And if you're new to the channel, go and subscribe and click on the notification bell. By doing that, you'll be notified when we premiere our videos and when we publish. Now today's English folk tale is an old one and it is called The Treasure of Adelborough. Now tradition tells us that there was once a giant who was once travelling with a chest of gold on his back of all places. And this giant, who shall we name nameless, was travelling with this treasure for some days. And he was going from Pendragon, the castle, to Skipton Castle. Now he'd been walking, striding with his long legs, for this giant was very tall, for some days and nights. And whilst crossing a river which he came to, the river of Adelborough, well he felt very tired and he felt very weary. And with this heavy burden of gold and treasure on his back, he decided that, well, he was going to have a rest. But as he was trying to look for somewhere to sit down, very suddenly the chest of treasure slipped. But recovering himself, he said, said, said the giant, spite of either god or man, to Pendragon Castle thou shalt gang. But suddenly with the chest falling from his shoulders, from his back, it hit the earth. And with the chest being so heavy, it sank and started to sink into the earth and stones started to rise over this chest of gold and it is said that there to this day the chest remained and still remains only to be recovered by a fortunate mortal to whom an elf may appear in the form of a hen or a duck and he then whoever sees this elf has to stretch forth with his mighty arms into the ground to try to seize the chest and drag it out in silence if he can for it is said that if he's made a noise or swore in his failings to pick up this heavy chest the unfortunate man who uttered an oath up at that moment of success the last thing hold of the treasure he will have and the treasure will slip and the mortal man will not gain the wealth of this treasure and it is said that he who saw the fairy no more in these times that the, the elf that we sometimes call a fairy in modern times disappeared and is not known what happened to the treasure of Adelborough and as for the giant well that remains a mystery of where he went next. And if you like folk tales of giants, then I urge you to go and check out our playlist. Slowly over time we'll add more folk tales of giants. And at some point I will do a video on the folklore of giants. So until we meet again, I am your host and forever Braggy of Northworthy. And I bide you farewell. Remember, was hail, and as in the words of Eggle, stay groovy.